Hello, I'm Francisco Ruiz, the author of Passlock Privacy App, which is now in version 2.0. In this video, I'm going to show you about the new feature of adding an email or a random token to Passlock for ultimate security. I'm starting on the beginning screen, the one that you see the first time you start Passlock before you have even entered a secret key, which now is in two parts. You have the video, if you click next, you will have the place where you enter the secret key. I'm going to show you my secret key. It's Elite 42 Bananas. It's a good key, it's a good strength, so I'm happy with it. Now, Passlock is asking me for my email. It's not because your email is going to be used for anything, to, to spam you or anything. It's just the idea that you add something personal to something that might not be personal so that a hacker will not have the combination of both in his directory in, uh, of hacking, hacking dictionary. So this has a lot of security. I could write my email or my phone number or something easy to remember, but instead I'm going to click this button, random, which will create a random string. 86 random characters, 520 bits of entropy, impossible to crack and impossible to remember as well but don't worry because passlock will remember it for you now we click, we click this and we're in business this is the lock that derives, derives from both the secret key and that random token that I have added if you start passlock again the, ta the token will be remembered let's try that I, it only asks me for my secret key Okay, and if I ask for my lock, there it is. So you can function without having to enter that random token again until you need to move to another computer and then you're gonna need it because otherwise it will, you will not get the same lock which means that people will not be able to send you messages that you can open. So how are you gonna get that random string out of pass lock? Maybe delete it because it's a liability well, you go to the options and then you click this button, pack up, reset options. This backs up your token in addition to the, all the other settings that you have here. We're going to say OK so that it actually gets erased. You don't have to erase it. You can just keep, click cancel and you, you still have a backup available in the main screen. But I'm going to click OK. OK, so now if I go to the main, the my settings have been deleted and I have this random token here and all the backup of my settings okay so let me just select it and cut it out okay if now I restart I'm back at the beginning passlock has forgotten me okay no problem I can give it my secret key I hope it's the same as before, yes. And here I can have another random token. token. I can actually enter anything, doesn't matter, because I'm going to replace it right away. Okay, here it is. The lock, of course, is not the same, but what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to put that backup that I had saved before. And if I have entered the right key, when I click lock and lock, it should take it. If you click OK, the settings will replace. OK, I want that. OK, they have been replaced. So if I just clear this and ask for my lock, it should be the same as before. So now I'm in business once again. Passlock will remember my, my token and it will have ultimate security. This is not something I really recommend. It's better if you never have to save anything. But if you're really paranoid about security, this is a decently uh, safe way to, um, to back up your, your random token. Nobody who, who happens to bump into it will be able to unlock it without having the secret key. So you get, you get some security there. Thank you and listening, for listening and enjoy Passlock 2.0.